Hi, I'm Heinbach and good to have you back. In this video, I want to show you an instrument I've been fascinated with long before I got into modular, the Surge Synthesizer. <laughs> Serge developed this synthesizer in the 1970s as an alternative to the much more expensive Buchler synthesizers. Now there are a few manufacturers that make Serge synthesizers and one of them is Random Source. And what we have here is the La Bestia 2 and the Serge Touch Keyboard. I've had the touch keyboard for quite some time and I've been using it with my test equipment to great effect. But I wanted to see how it sounds in its original home with a search panel. So I borrowed this and I'll have to give it back and I try to make the most out of it. As you can see, Search uses banana jacks and you need banana cables to patch it. Banana cables come from various manufacturers. You've got the fancy ones, those are Pomona's. They cost a good amount of money, but they fit rather snugly in here. Plus you can patch them like this, stack it up top, like the stackables from TipTop and Eurorack, but also from the side, which is pretty handy if you want to keep your patch closed when you put a lid on it. Then there are also these ones, which work perfectly fine and you can get them in Germany as Messleitungen because this is laboratory equipment and these are Koch brand and they cost uh, 3 euro for I think 30 centimeters and you can get them up to 2 meters. Bananas are sturdy and you can stack them as I showed before and it just feels nice and those are solid connections. It's laboratory equipment after all. and. I'm kind of all about that. The La Bestia panel is a collection of search modules that work well together. You can also get individual modules and assemble your completely own system. The La Bestia panel starts with the new Turnbull oscillator. This has saw, triangle, sine, variable, which means you can morph between wave shapes. without too much of a step and you've got a pulse. Master tune, a fine tune, you can slew incoming CV and you've got volt per octave inputs and one input for linear FM. So it's easy to do nice frequency modulated sound with this. Next up is a mixer. This is a simple mixer that has three attenuators in here, one out, and you've got a phase switch. So you can take two signals and avert them in the phase to each other. So they cancel each other or you get new sound shapes, for example. Now phase is the same, just two times the same signal. And now phase is inverted on the top one, so they cancel each other out. Of course, you could use it also for control signals. So while one goes up, the other goes down. The wave multipliers. And this is where much of the texture and sound of Search comes from that is so amazing. These wave multipliers will shape any signal that you put into them. For example, an oscillator. Let's take a simple sign, plug it in here, and plug it in the out, and now to the in. The top one is a rather gentle overdrive VCA. So you can use this to control the amplitude of the signal and shape it just a touch. If you want more drastic results, let's try the middle one. Go into the in, go into the out. The wave multipliers make the surge sing. Let's try the lower one. In, here, out, here. This is a bit more gentle and reserved. But you have two different outs. This one is more bassy. And this one is brighter. The 
Smooth Step module is the most powerful module of the La Bestia. It can be so many things. And that's just a few examples of what this almost analog computing module can be. Dual slopes is a pretty straightforward analog generator. We take the signal of the envelope generator, plug it, for example, into the wave multiplier, not here, but here. Then we take a saw from here, back, and then we take output to here yeah. then we can shape the envelope but of course it has an input for volt per octave so this can again be an oscillator Now we are ordering modulating the wave multiplier. Another thing that Search is famous for are the filters. Two. We've got the variable slope voltage control filter and the variable Q voltage control filter. So slope voltage controlled means that this will go from 6 to 12 decibels with no steps in between. So you're changing how many poles the filter has. There's also a little two-channel mixer in here, which is very nice. And we've got outputs for low pass, high pass, and band pass. And if you mix those, you get all kinds of funky, different filters. Next up is the variable Q. And this means you can control the resonance via voltage control. And again, we've got band, high, low, and notch filters output. This is new in this one. And this one has a dedicated trigger in. And trigger in means you can ping this very easily. Puck, 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 puck. This is the rhythm that we're doing. That makes for some beautiful dripping water drop sounds. And of course, if you run this into the wave multiplayer, you get all kinds of textures.
filters have Volpa Octave, so you can easily play them in tune. Everything comes out through the stereo mixer on these big quarter inch jacks. You've got also banana outputs if you want to connect it to another banana system. Then there's aux input where there's no gain control, but you can just uh, put another system through here. You've got the ins that will be attenuated via this, and you can pan left and right using this. And both of these are under voltage control. So you have voltage control over panning and over gain. And it has to be said, this can go out rather hot, so it's easy to overdrive anything that comes behind the search. And I love that. The touch keyboard is one of my most favorite instruments this year because it enables such a precise amount of control and it serves as a bridge between my test equipment, the Eurorack, and it is very reactive because sometimes touch interfaces can be a little bit lacking in controllability, especially in the Eurorack modular with all its different power standards and power supplies. So this is just pleasantly working all the time. And I'm gonna make another video about this. short time that I had with it, I'm finding it hard to find any negative points with La Bestia. This is a design that dates back a few decades and Random Source have updated it and improved upon it. Of course there are discussions from search fans about which model of the search sounds best and which build, but I'm not there yet so I can't comment on that. The price of about 2700 euro without wet for an assembled unit and with warranty is of course a bit steep and will put this out of the hands of many. An alternative would be the Eurorack kits from Random Source and DIYing your own modules and putting together your own system, which will sound arguably as good because the circuits are identical, might be cheaper and also more compact. Since I knew I would only be speed dating the La Bestia, I asked the amazing musician Sarah Bell Reed in advance if she would be up for a collaboration with me on the search and her on her processed trumpet.
this song in the search sound pack on my Patreon. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this rather quick and absolutely not in-depth overview about the search, but I still have so much to learn with this and I was just excited to share my first experience with this. So if you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below or visit the subreddit. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.